this model illustrates the similarity between the brain and a musical instrument. The brain tissue is represented by metal and the brain activity by sound. The effect of psychedelics is mimicked by heating and cooling the metal. Using different metals and different heating and cooling cycles can illustrate different ways of altering consciousness in a human brain. Only an extremely simplified toy model, but it can be useful for conceptual understanding. The model works because both sound and neuronal firing are examples of oscillatory activity, which can have different frequency, amplitude, coherence and damping. In this particular setup, we use Sterling Silver and Bunsen burners. Coherent oscillatory activity in the silver is gradually lost on continued heating, which corresponds to something like the dissociative anesthetic effect of ketamine. After cooling, the oscillatory activity has become more coherent and less dampened, corresponding to the antidepressant effect of ketamine. Hammering the metal represents the memory imprint made in the brain by our ongoing experiences. The oscillatory sound pattern produced by the hammered metal contains complexity which corresponds to learning. But the side effect of the increased complexity is lower overall consonance of the oscillatory activity. To stay healthy, the brain must periodically neurally anneal itself. This can be thought of as redistributing synaptic weights more globally across the connectome and thus make the learned information more harmoniously integrated and holistically retrievable. This normally happens during sleep, but can become even more powerful with meditation and psychedelics. In our model, where metal is literally annealed, it is the positions of the metal atoms which adjust themselves so that the entire piece of metal becomes a better conductor of sound. It may seem strange that this can happen, but neither the metal nor the brain is fundamentally magical. Both cases involve self-organizing system dynamics. In the case of the brain, the activity is accompanied by conscious experiences. The Qualia Research Institute works under the assumption that these are not magical either, but can be modeled mathematically in a similar way to chemistry and physics. It is then necessary to test how measurements of brain activity correlate with conscious experiences not only during sober waking life, but also under conditions which are very different. Psychedelics give access to the nature of brains.